Today we're going to be making some Halloween floating ghosts. They're quick and easy to make and should be perfect this week while the children are off on the holidays. So today what you're going to need is either a tray like this, we fetch this in from the garden to keep stuff off the floor. You can use cardboard or plastic sheet or something to keep your carpet safe. You're going to need the body of your ghost, depending how high you want it, is how tall you'll need it. You'll need a ball or a balloon or something dome shaped for the top to make the classical to make the classic dome of the, the ghost's head. You're going to need a wire for arms. You're going to need a PVA or starch mixture to stiffen the cloth we're going to use. Uh, some black paint to help brush on at the end to make it look older. Something to cut the wire, a brush, a bowl and water to mix the PVA. And then I or cheesecloth, muslin or any light white fabric. First, this will be the body of my ghost. And then that should be the top. Now all we need to do is cut out a length of wire to create the arms. So we use about a foot, maybe two foot of this wire to wrap around the body and create the arms. Find the middle of the wire. Let's wrap it round. It's a bit crazy now. I don't know if you can see that, but it's now got its arm. Next, you need to cut out a square your fabric to drape over your ghost. I've cut out a square of white muslin for this. It's a good idea to fold it over corner to corner like a bandana so you have a middle bit to drape over. It doesn't matter how it looks at this moment because we have to take it back off to put the glue mixture on to help it stiffen up.
just black and white paint with some water on a dry brush. So now this is a side that starts to be shaded compared to that side. See how it's starting to get a bit of age. So this is after the first stage of dry brushing. Just accenting all the creases and folds. Now Sarah's just crocheting some rusty chains for the ghost. Using a brown and a, an orange. So I've added thin wire to a piece of wire that's just over the dome in the ghost's head. The crochet rusty chain. All I'm going to do now is add uh, an LED lights inside. I'll hang it up. So now I'm going to add the LED light inside the ghost. Here's the ghost with a crochet chain painted. I've added some the cotton fake spider webbing to dangle down. Let's hang it up and see what it looks like. So now it's hanging, swaying around in the breeze in a tree outside my house. I think it looks quite good. You guys left a note, let me know what you think in the comments below. a spooky spectre. Imagine a group of these floating around in your trees. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to like and subscribe. Or if there's anything else you want to see me make, just put it in the comment section below. Thanks guys.